It is semi-final day at the European Championship. Four nations on edge. Only two go to Paris for the final. So we're down to the last four. Who's about to battle for the privilege to go on to the final? moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. Germany proudly line up for their national anthem. Two starting lineups. And we're underway. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I've got to go for the mastermind in midfield, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Composed and totally unfazed when in the middle of a very tough contest, he has an air of authority about him, and he's usually the one in control. Just getting the best out of him will count for so much. and try something new. Crunching tackle. It's Martial. Looks to slip it through. Surely. There's Merzel. Matuidi looking for options. In by Matuidi. Tries a header! And he's there to hoof it away. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Pogba has great prowess from such a distance and he can't be afforded that kind of room. I think it's asking for trouble. You must close that down. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Now it's Muller. Play back and showed him a yellow card. Now it's good, sir. Who's going to make this theirs? Now the pass. Martial. Can he find a finish now? Mario Götze. Mesut Özil. Mesut Özil has been caught there, it's a foul. Thrust towards the front line. Sissoko. Sissoko! Another save. Yeah, well, he won't be happy with some of the defending in front of him. He can hold his head high. That was a fantastic stop. It's Moss! 
Martial! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Griezmann! We'll get that clear. Germany emerge unscathed. They were right up against it. Until half time, and it is still goalless. Now it's Muller. Mesut Ozil, deftly done. Now here's the through ball. Jerome Berte. That's surely a foul free kick. Well, that's a booking, always looked it. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. It's long and forward. Griezmann puts his foot on the gas, and it's Sissoko. Keeps everyone guessing. Time in the semi-final. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. The second half gets underway. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defenses are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Sissoko, Martial, it's Martial! That is absolutely glorious! He's got himself a pinch of a goal! The second half off to a spectacular start! Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out, it really was a bullet! That is just the top drawer finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. France take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Mustafi, Jerome Boateng. Now it's Martial, and he's straight offside. Daffy. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. And it's Griezmann. Matuidi. Lovely feet. He's dealt with that well. Tries to dink it in. Now it's Martial, now it's Sissoko. Martial. A chance! In it goes! And with that goal comes comfort! That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footed, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. France take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Charges in. Goes long. 
Griezmann. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Tony Kroos. Mario Goetze. And it's Martial. Spoon forward. Rafael Varane. Pogba. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Tony Kroos. Lula. And it's Goetze. Mario Goetze with the ball through. Pogba. Goetze. He's lifting it over, and the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Well, that longer ball, if played early enough, can catch a defence by surprise. Now, they got the offside decision there, but they should prepare themselves for more of the same. Done very well to intervene. Griezmann. Brooks. One option. The final whistle. France have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expected to win it. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Yeah, what a way to win one of the hardest games you'll fare in any cup competition. They played the game and not the occasion. And that was impressive for me, I think that's how it's done. Uh, yeah, now don't this sound legendary?